wow, just <laughs> more interesting stuff from the uh, Emerald Tablets of Toth. Another one of these things, you know, when you start reading, you're like, ah, I can really start to see why they don't really want us to read this stuff or <laughs> certainly probably don't like the fact that some Yahoo like me is up here reading it over the uh, over the airwaves either. But you know what? Fog them. We're here to do a job. We're here to get information out. We're here to uh, hopefully try and get you to have a newer understanding of this stuff. And I think that only comes with new information and looking at new stuff a different way and uh, maybe looking at things you hadn't looked at before or looking at things you did look at before but with you know new eyes and new context. That's the important thing is Always stay on top of, uh, you know, just because you read something 10 years ago doesn't mean they're, you know, that you're going to feel the same way about it now. Same way with movies or music or any, anything, you know. Let's go back, go back and revisit those things after you've grown. And uh, that could sometimes be a yardstick for just how far you've come and how much farther you need to go. Tablet number four, The Spaceborn. Listen, ye, O men, to the voice of wisdom. Listen to the voice of Toth, the Atlantean. Freely I give to thee my wisdom, gathered from the time and space of this cycle. Master of mystery, son of the morning, living forever a child of the light. Shining with brightness, star of the morning, Toth, the teacher of men, is of all. A long time ago, I in my childhood lay neath the stars on long-buried Atlantis, dreaming of mysteries for above men, far above men. Then in my heart grew there a great longing to conquer the pathway that led to the stars. Year after year I sought their wisdom, seeking new knowledge, following the way, until at last my soul in great travail broke from its bondage and bounded away. Free I was from the bondage of earth men, Free from the body, I flashed through the night. Unlocked at last for me was the star space. Free was I from the bondage of night. Now to the end of space sought I wisdom, far beyond knowledge of finite man. Far into space my soul traveled freely into infinity's circle of light. Strange beyond knowledge were some of the planets, great and gigantic beyond dreams of men. Yet found I law in all of its beauty, working through and among them as here among men. Flashed forth my soul through an infinity's beauty, far through space I flew with my thoughts. Rested I there on a planet of beauty, strains of harmony filled all the air. Shapes there were, moving in order, great and majestic as stars in the night. Mounting in harmony, ordered equilibrium, symbols of the cosmic like unto law. Many the stars I passed in my journey, many the races of men on the world, some reaching high as the stars of the morning, some falling low in the blackness of night. Each and all of them struggling upward, gaining the heights and plumbing the depths, moving at times in realms of brightness, living through darkness, gaining the light. Know, O oh man, that light is thy heritage. Know that darkness is only a veil. Sealed in time, heart is brightness eternal. Waiting the moment of freedom to conquer, waiting to rend the veil of night. Some I found who had conquered the ether. Free of space were they while yet they were men. Using the force that is the foundation of all things, far in a space constructed they a planet. This sounds like Star Wars. I mean, the beginning of this was like in a galaxy a long time ago, you know, far, far away. Now she's talking about using the force. I mean, it's a fact. There's all kinds of stuff that's from occult literature in Star Wars. There's just no denying it. But, I mean, this is pretty blatant right here, guys. I mean, you know... A long time ago, galaxy far, far away, using the force that is the foundation of all things. Far in space, they constructed a planet, the Death Star. Drawn by the force that flows through all, condensing, coalescing into ether, into forms, they grew as they willed. I mean, that sounds like the fucking emperor, doesn't it? Out 
outstripping in science they all of the races mighty in wisdom sons of the stars long time i paused watching their wisdom saw them create from out of the ether cities gigantic of rose and gold formed forth from the primal element base of all matter the ether far flung far in the past they had conquered the ether <coughs> freed themselves from the bondage of toil freed themselves from the bondage of toil that means they freed themselves from because that's what the Anunnaki, remember, just like our listener pointed out, a lot of similarities here uh, with these with these translations of these tablets. Between the Lost Book of Enki, Sumerian tablets, this, very similar writing here. But um, the bondage of the toil is the bondage of, you know, that's what they talk about, humanity, the toil and bondage for, you know, for eternity on behalf of, for the Anunnaki. They formed in mind only a picture and swiftly created it grew. For then my soul sped throughout the cosmos, seeing ever new things and old, learning that man is truly space born, a son of the sun, a child of the stars. Know ye, O man, wherever from ye inhabit, surely it is one with the stars. Thy bodies are nothing but planets revolving around their central suns, or hearts. When ye have gained the light of all wisdom, free shall ye be to shine in the ether. One of the suns that light outer darkness, one of the space born grown into light. Just as the stars in time lose their brilliance, light passing from them into the great source, so, O oh man, the soul passes onward leaving behind the darkness of night. Formed forth ye from the primal ether, filled with the brilliance that flows from the source, bound by the ether coalesced around, yet ever in flames until at last it is free. Lift up your flame from out of the darkness. Fly from the night and ye shall be free. Travel I through space and time, knowing my soul at last was set free knowing that now I might pursue wisdom, until at last I pass to a plane, hidden from knowledge, not known to wisdom, extension beyond all that we know. Now, O oh man, when I had this knowing, happy my soul grew, for now I was free. Listen, ye space-born, listen to my wisdom. Know ye not ye the two will be free. Know ye not that ye too will be free. Listen ye again. O oh man, to my wisdom, that hearing ye too might live and be free. Not of the earth are you, earthy, but child of the infinite cosmic light. I like that. Not of the earth are ye, earthy. E earthy. No, you're not, you're not, you're not of the earth, human. You're a child of the infinite cosmic light. You've been lied to and told that you're a child of the earth and you're from the no. You're a child of the infinite cosmic light. Boy, talk about something they don't want you to know right there. Know ye not, O oh man, of your heritage? Know ye not that you are truly the light? Son of the great sun, when ye gain wisdom? Truly aware of your kinship with the light? Notice how that... You're the son of the great sun when you gain wisdom. Kept in ignorance, you're nothing. That's, that's it in a nutshell, isn't it, folks? Son of the great sun when ye gain wisdom, truly aware of your kinship with light. Now to ye I give knowledge. Freedom to walk in the path I have trod. Showing ye truly how by my striving I trod the path that leads to the stars. Hark ye, O man, and know of thy bondage. Know how to free thyself from the toils. Out of the darkness shall ye rise upward, one with the light and one with the stars. Follow ye ever the path of wisdom. Only by this can ye rise from below. Ever man's destiny leads him onward into the curves of infinity's all. Know ye, O man, that all space is ordered. 
only by order are ye one with the all. Order and balance are the law of the cosmos. Follow and ye shall be one with the all. He who would follow the pathway of wisdom, open must he be to the flower of life. Extending his consciousness out of the darkness, flowing through time and space into the all. Deep in the silence first ye must linger, until at last ye are free from desire. Free from the longing to speak in the silence. Conquer by silence the bondage of words. Abstaining from eating until we have conquered desire for food, that is the bondage of soul. Then lie ye down in the darkness. Close your eyes from the rays of the light. Center the soul force in the place of your consciousness shaking it free from the bonds of the night. Place in your mind the image that you desire. Place the picture that you desire to see and vibrate back and forth with your power. Loosen the soul from out of its night. Fiercely must thou shake with all of thy power until at last your soul shall be free. Mighty beyond words is the flame of the cosmic hanging in planes, unknown to man, mighty and balanced, moving in order, music of harmonies, far beyond man. Speaking with music, singing with color, flame from the beginning of eternity's all, spark of the flame thou art. O oh, my children, burning with color and living with music, list to the voice and thou shalt be free. Consciousness free is fused with the cosmic, one with the order and law of the all. Knew ye not, man, that out of the darkness light shall flame forth, a symbol of all. Pray ye this prayer for attaining of wisdom. Pray for the coming of light to the all. Mighty spirit of light that shines through the cosmos. Draw my flame closer in harmony to thee. Lift up my fire from out of the darkness. Magnet of fire that is one with the all. Lift up my soul, thou mighty and potent. Child of the light, turn not away. Draw me in power to melt in thy furnace. One with all things and all things in one fire of the life strain and one with the brain when ye have freed thy soul from its bondage know that for ye the darkness is gone even though space ye may seek wisdom bound not by the fetters forged in the flesh onward and upward into the morning free flash O soul to the realms of light move thou in order Move thou in harmony. Freely shalt move with the children of light. Seek ye and know ye my key of wisdom. Thus, O man, ye shall surely be free. Powerful stuff there. Powerful stuff there. Tablet number four. Uh, man, I, you know, the more I read this stuff, it's unbelievable. I mean, this... this <laughs> You can really see where somebody who, who had access to this to this information could totally turn this into all the major world religions and into a total system of control. Um, that's unbelievable. Unbelievable stuff. Very interesting read.